This used to be, or possibly still is, a Raptor 660. And I'm going to do an R1 conversion on it. You can see the engine sort of partially in there. I bought this from a guy who had uh, started, or attempted, should I say, to put an R1 engine in. Um, wasn't a great job, to be honest. I mean, he did okay, but uh, but not good. I'll, I'll show you a few things here. If you look at the front of the frame, probably can't see in the video, but the frame is slightly cockeyed. It's about two and a half degrees twisted. Um, and you've, he's done a couple of frame cuts here and here, down here as well, um, and on the same on the other side to get the uh, to get the engine shoehorned in. This is the oldest, the Gen 1 R1 engine, carbureted. No EFI on this thing. Um, also used a lot of these. Slide and guide, chain, redirector, blocks, bit of machined nylon or whatever. There's a brand on there. TM Design Works. Cover up your bodgy framework with one of these things. Um, there's one, this used to go here on the top side, um, locked in like that, and the frame or the chain slid along it, and it bolted onto the onto the frame in there. And there's this other thing at the bottom for the, the other side of the chain uh, to guide it out. He also, because of the position of his, uh, his uh, sprocket, here his dry sprocket, he also had uh, problems where it was engaging the bottom of the chassis. You can see it still, I haven't moved it yet, you can see it's still lying on there. And I had this little gizmo, um, it's like a wee rubber wheel with a, a bearing in it, um, and it was bolted through here to push the chain up, so it was constantly constantly running on this. Probably would have lasted about 10 miles to be honest. And same with this other thing over here. It's got a couple of bearings in the bottom and, and um, nylon rollers. But um, yeah, all in all, not great. So he's fixed it at one to uh, a third point using these, uh, these arms that he bolt it on, something like that, you know. Um, but yeah, not wonderful. So I'm going to have a look at, oh, also the, the gear shifter as well, the, the gear shifter, the angle in the gear shifter was really poor, uh, and I took a big bite out of the uh, sprocket housing, which is wrecked, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to turn this over. Oh, not, not, some, not some balls fall out, buddy. Took a big saw cut out of that uh, to let the shifter pass. Um, also, all the uh, all the wiring, all the all the wiring loom for the R1 was literally piled in here. Fuel pump floating about, unsecured. Uh, a few other things. Um, there must be there's a, like an exhaust power valve type thing. That's a servo of some description. Anyway, that's all kicking about in there. The the fuel sender as well. That gives you a fault code 8. That was floating about in there too. Uh, another great job. The plumbing as well. Large uh, lengths of silicon hose dangling about all over the place. Original radiator. No upgrade to the radiator. Um, yeah. This was loose. That was about the only thing that was easy fixed. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it, to be honest. Uh, and even originally I was planning to repaint, do the whole thing. I think if this thing's going to be done at all, it has to be has to be really good. There's no uh, no half measures in these things. Uh, there's the back brake as well. That's a little shite floating about there. Not good. Generally, he's got all the bits. They're just not put together well. So I mean, I give the guy some credit. He um, three quarters of an idea of what he's doing. So we'll see after I'm finished whether I've got an idea or not. Get the engine out, get the frame straightened up, and uh, I'll maybe do a couple more videos of, of how to realign the frame and re-weld the frame and get the uh, get the engine remounted. Um, I think I'm going to have to relocate the fuel tank if I want the engine high enough. 
uh, the time you get the fuel tank on there, there's not enough room for the carbs, so the fuel tank will have to go somewhere else. Uh, I don't like the idea of the fuel tank sitting on top of the carbs anyway. If she flames out the carbs, it's going to blow the shite out of me when I'm driving along. So Get that all changed. Get the plastics away for paint. Get them dressed up a bit. Look like somebody has been trailing them across a pebble dash quarry. Front plastics. Much the same. Not too bad. The reverse key there. This crappy temperature gauge. Also, something else I hate people doing is they put a switch on for the fan. The fan needs to come on automatically. If you're not paying attention and you boil your flipping engine, that's no use, is it? So need that done. Um, tires are good. There you go. End on a good point. See you later.